every few years there's some trend you know people tend to gravitate towards and people think oh this is the future i should i should study this this is this is the next wave that's going to get me a job in 10 years and it makes sense right if you go to college if you're trying to have a better life you want to focus on you know what's next what's the, what's the next big thing that you can get in you know if you're going to go to college and spend four years of your life studying something you you want to study something that's going to lead to results but i'm here to say that you should fall in love with the boring stuff and what i mean by that is you should basically do what you love and as cliche as it sounds it's true i mean i start off with with computer science because, you know, I taught myself how to code in C. I didn't have a high school diploma. I just had my GED. And I had a book I bought. I read the whole book. I did every exercise in the book. And I used uh, a website on the internet. And I learned C. And I went to college because I thought, well, I'm going to get a PhD in computer science. And then I found math, right? So out of all the things math right i mean who the heck studies math if you think about it math is the reason that people don't get degrees right so in some sense it's a boring subject but it worked out and so the lesson is you want to do what you love because if you're going to be spending you know every day of your life doing some job you want to make sure that when you wake up in the morning and you go to work that's something you enjoy, right? You don't want to spend 10 years, 20 years of your life doing something you hate, chasing some dream because someone else said you should chase it or because you think it's going to be the next big thing, even if you don't really like it. So fall in love with the boring stuff. And again, what I mean by that is fall in love with what you like, not with what society says is the next big thing. You know, if you want to I don't know, I can't think of anything strange. Mathematics, right? That's, that's pretty strange. I mean, I don't think there's many people who, who study math. When I was an undergrad, I remember visiting the undergraduate advisor's office and I asked him, well, how, how many people get math degrees? You know, because I had, I had just at that point, I think I had decided to not study computer science and go straight to math. It took me a year to make that decision because it's a it's a big decision and he told me that uh, that in the previous year only 11 people in the entire university got math degrees 11 people that's it and i was like wow it made me feel kind of special so when you when you fall in love with the boring stuff with the stuff nobody cares about it makes a difference right because it's, it's something you like and it doesn't matter what it is. It could be any subject, no matter how obscure it is. I mean, in theory, and this is true, not just in theory, you can get a job with a college degree in anything. It doesn't matter what it is. There's many jobs out there that the requirement is simply that you have a degree. Right? As long as you have a degree, you can apply for that job and you qualify. Sure, you might have to have some skills, and it helps if you have a related degree, but there's many jobs that don't require a related degree, right? So fall in love with the boring stuff. Do something that excites you. Try not to be influenced by trends. Another one that's really hard, and this is one that I, I get in emails, a lot of students uh, are pressured by their parents. You know, their parents want them to be, you know, an engineer, or a doctor and that's 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 a tough one you know I, it's tough when you're a kid you know but I still think that I mean, you should listen to your parents but at the same time you want to make sure that if you're gonna be studying and taking those tests you, I mean you're the one going to school not them right you want to make sure it's something you like and you want to make sure that you're making the right choice it's a scary decision too I remember thinking back thinking about it now when I switched when I dropped computer science that was a that was a scary decision because I knew I knew that 
a computer science degree is much more valuable than a mathematics degree, right? I, I knew that. And all of my friends at the time, it's a little water dripping there. All of my friends at the time were engineering majors and they all doubted me. They said, oh, don't study math. What are you doing? You know, what do you, what? oh no, you got to study engineering. And, and, and they, they got their degrees, they got jobs and they have lives, you know, and they were successful, but they really, really, really did not want me to study mathematics. <laughs> they, they did not think that that would be a good idea for me. So many of you are probably in this situation and that's kind of why I wanted to make this video. You know, just do what you love, as cliche as it sounds, you really should, you really, really should. You really should. Don't just do it for the money. I mean, money's important. It's very important. You need money to live in the world, right? Unfortunately, you know, if you if you want to order pizza, you have to pay for it. You want to live somewhere that's decent, hopefully somewhere safe where you can go outside for a walk. I mean, I, I think this is safe. If anything happens, it's on camera and it's going straight to YouTube. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah. So it is important, you know, but again, with a degree in anything, you, you'll be able to to find a job and, and make it happen. Because the last thing you want to do is, you know, focus on something that you don't really like and then end up in a situation where, you know, you're going to this job that you hate every day for the next 20 years and, and you're thinking like, oh, I should have done this. You don't want to have regrets is what I'm trying to say. Regret is one of those things that you can't, I mean, you can let it go, but you don't want to make decisions now that you're going to regret in the future, right? That's the key. That's the key. So make the right choice so you can live your life with no regrets. Fall in love with the boring stuff. On another note related to this, and this is another reason you should fall in love with the boring stuff. I have a friend who studied computer science and uh, he, he works now. He has a really good job. <clears throat> and he... He works as like a software engineer for a big, big company. He's high up in the chain now. He's been there for about a decade. Really smart guy, brilliant. He's a, I think he's a genius. And when he first got his job, he told me he was so glad he took that databases class, which he thought was so boring. And he, he emphasized how much he hated, how much he hated studying about databases, right? He, he just, he didn't like it. It was like the worst thing ever. But he said that was the class, the most boring, hated class that he took that helped him the most, right? So fall in love with the boring stuff for that reason too, because you never know, right? You never know. You never know when, when that skill, when that one random thing you learned as a computer science major is going to come up and that's, that's going to be the thing that's going to get you the job, right? That, that boring thing that nobody else wants to do, but you did it. You sucked it up and you did the work. And that's a skill that you have that most people don't because it's boring. No one wants to do it. So that's another reason, another reason it's worth, you know, falling in love with, with the boring stuff. But yeah, what do you all think? Do you think you should do what you love? Do you think you should fall in love with the boring stuff? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you want to learn math, I, I do have courses. Um, check out the links in the description and I have books check out the links in the description uh, and yeah stay strong my friends take care